how did bone health come from olive leaves? How did that connection come? The, the science behind it comes from France because they found out and it's generally known that in the Mediterranean area there is less problem uh, with, with osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. It's in general associated with the Mediterranean diet. Now a French research group wanted to investigate whether olives and olive oil, which is a, it's an important uh, food source there, whether that has anything to do with, with the protection against osteoporosis. And they started looking into it and they found out in fact that one of the ingredients present in black olives is very active towards uh, bone formation. Yeah? Okay. Now the link between olives and olive leaves is in fact that that compound is present in much higher doses, in much higher concentrations in the leaves as opposed to the olives. You would need to eat about 100 grams of olives in order to have that type, uh, that amount of, of actual active product. But if you take it from the olive leaves, you can have a, a much better access to the, to the ingredient. Can, can you talk about what that active ingredient is in the olive leaf mm -hmm. and to a lesser extent the olives and, and how it exactly works? Yeah. So what this, this French research group found out was that olerupine, which is a polyphenol present in olives and olive leaves, that that compound works very specifically towards bone formation. Now, if you know a little bit about, about bone health, bones and bone formation is a very dynamic process. In fact, it's not a single formation of bones, but there is a continuous renewal process of bones. So you have bone formation, but you also have the removal of old bone. Mm. Yeah? So in fact, bones are continuously formed, renewed, reformed, etc. Yeah? So in, in, in healthy individuals, this is a very stable process. You have bone formation, you have bone resorption, and the two are perfectly in balance. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What you see, in fact, in older individuals is that the bone resorption, the removal of bones continues and becomes even more and more and more active, but that the bone formation process is not able anymore to catch up with the bone resorption. Now, the final balance and the final consequence of this is that you have more removal than formation and your bones get brittle, you have a less dense bone structure and you develop ultimately osteoporosis. Mm -hmm. So that's the sign, that's the theory behind, behind uh, bone health. Now what this French group found out was that this compound olerupine present in olives and in olive leaves, that that one works very specifically towards bone formation. So this means the compound from olives, olerupine, stimulates the bone formation and helps in fact the body to keep this bone formation process up to the level of the bone resorption. So you make, in fact, you help the body, you support the body in a natural way to have this dynamic balance between bone formation and bone resorption. And that's the very unique aspect that this, uh, this, this group found out. And this was then licensed in by BioActor and further clinically developed.